we're really excited to announce that Sector AI is here and is available for all sector schools and all teachers as part of your current Sector Teach subscription. So all teachers can draft lesson plans in a way that's going to save them hours of time every week. It will help improve the quality and consistency of lessons and classrooms for all classrooms. And it happens within the collaborative planning infrastructure of sector, ensuring your learning leaders have visibility, making sure everyone's moving in the same direction. So teachers can work together draw on each other's experience and leaders can monitor content in line with the whole school curriculum learning approach. So using AI will help teachers save a significant amount of time each week and help them produce higher quality curriculum planning. They can then focus on what really matters, supporting individual learning needs of students in their class. So let's have a look. I've come in to sector, I'm clicking on a class and selecting the planner. Here is my lesson. I now click on the syllabus links area here and I go to the Australian curriculum. And then it's just filtering down to your learning area, the relevant strands and the year levels. Once you have that, so I've now been able to bring in that content descriptor. Now I have the opportunity, once I've got this content descriptor there, because that will frame this lesson planning, I can come into the AI Assist area. So I'm going to select that curriculum content descriptor. I'm going to make sure, adjust the lesson length, and now I can add in any additional information under the essential learning, and I want them to include an activity to be done in pairs. And then it's as simple and easy as clicking draft lesson plan. And Sector AI Assist does the work. And then what teachers need to do is review that. They can edit that. They can get it to redraft if they want to, or if they're happy with it, they all they have to do here now is select save. Job is now done. There is that lesson plan here. Another way that it be, can be done using other curriculums is really easy. So I've come to a different lesson this time. I'm going to give it a topic, multicellular organisms. I'm going to click on curriculum and this time I've chosen the West Australian curriculum, which is titled SCARSA. Again, I'm going to filter down and find the relevant learning area, the strands, etc and then filter down to find the year level that I want to use. And here it is. So this time I'm going to copy that curriculum content descriptor and I'm going to select save. It's still gone in there. I'm going to start with AI, but I'm going to turn all those links off, select my year level and adjust the time of the lesson. And this time I'm going to paste into the essential learning my content descriptor and then I'm going to ask it to add in a reading assignment for after class and then draft the lesson plan. So using any other curriculums is really easy. You just copy that content descriptor and put it into the essential learning and there is my lesson plan. So the AI Assist has done the work for the teacher. It's also added in an assessment. So I can redraft or select save. Now, on a totally different note, how can you use Sector AI to support individual students' learning needs? So now I've come to a year history planner area and I am now going to come to the lesson plan and I'm going to expand it. So this lesson doesn't have any information in here, but I want to get ideas for how I'm going to support a dyslexic student in my classroom. So I select the Australian curriculum and I'm drilling down. This is a year 10 history unit looking at the significance of World War II and the immediate um, post-war economic and um, implications. So find my content descriptor, all right, and in here, I've got a fairly detailed prompt. 
saying I've got a dyslexic student, requires a multi-sensory approach and a whole range of different uh, ways to approach this lesson. So I'm asking it now to think about how I can support this student's individual learning needs. So it's taken my prompt and it's given me a huge number of ideas here in vocab bingo, dramatised reading, etc. And that can go in. Now, how do you hide that lesson? Because you don't want everyone in the class to see that. So what you do is you now come to the lesson organiser area and this time I'm going to give it a title so I can find my lesson quickly and I come to the lesson organiser. I go to this shelf area as I call it here and I'm going to place that lesson on that shelf which means students can't see it. I'm using it as part of my planning process but don't limit yourself to just using sector AI to plan the lesson. Use it to come up with ideas as to how you can support students' individual learning needs and then just place them on the shelf in that lesson organiser. And then finally, how do you turn it on? Well, your IT department, simply go to application settings, select AI, read the terms and conditions and then select enable and save. That's as simple as it can get. Click save and now that functionality is turned on in your system. So ultimately, what will this provide teachers and schools? Teachers can save a huge amount of time each week. It's going to help them come up with ideas to generate plans to support individual learning needs. It helps ensure that lesson plans can be aligned to curriculum standards and it's going to support the school to build up a really high quality bank of curriculum learning materials.